Hello and welcome to Floyd Models Kit Review Time. Today we've actually got Zuckamori's 132nd scale. This is the FW190A4. Now, a lot has been said about Zuckamori, and I admit in the past I've called them over engineered and uh, extremely in depth for the sake of it. I think that's a polite way of putting it. What I mean is, though, you get absolutely everything in it. And to be honest, we had a really good discussion just before Christmas, and we were talking about the benefits of kits like these compared to other ones, which are a lot more basic. And actually, bang on cue, along comes their new release, which is the FW190A4. So again, we can have a look at this and see if it's the right kit for you. Because at the end of the day, not all of us are worried about pistons inside engines that you're never going to see and half the detail you're not. But if you're an in-depth builder and you know it's in there, this is definitely going to be the kit for you. So anyway, on the box, you can see Nice little bit of box art on there with the B17 in the background. All right, so you can see this is their uh, scale wing series or SWS series uh, number 21. So obviously they've done quite a few of these now, working their way through them. All of them are beautifully in-depth model kits right the way through. So as you can see, our one here, we do come with a little bonus figure as well. And we've got a little bit of blurb on here just like that. Uh, and again, some more details down in there. And obviously some of the look of the details that you actually get inside. So again, as you can imagine, fully detailed weapon bays, engine bays, cockpits, wheel wells, all the different areas, plus so much more with it as well. All right. So inside the box, you are greeted by a We've got the figure, old Sea Freak, which we'll look at in a moment. We've got a couple of sheets, uh, which I think are little update correction types uh, sheets, which are just down in there as well, you can see. And then we've got the parts. So we've got the clear parts on the top. So it looks like we've got four different types of canopy on the top, all the different versions. All right, then as you imagine, and brace yourself for this, this is gonna take a little while with all the gorgeous detail that you can see. So these are all separately bagged, as you can see right the way through, fuel tanks and fuel cells, uh, all the formers and the various parts, as you can imagine, a beautifully detailed engine. And then again, as we were talking about beautiful detail, yes, you're right, that's all the formers for the wings in there. So yes, lots of detail down in there. We've got the gear, and again, different versions of this. So we've got different wheels, We've got the ailerons, we've got some tops of the wings, I think they are. And obviously we've got some bits down in here, which looks like the mountings. All right, and then more mounting bays and a huge, great big instruction book, just like this. So luckily there's only a little bit of tape, which we can deal with. All right, let me just tape that down and then I'll stick it to it. All right, so in here we find, we've got mast set, Really nice, we'll look at that in a moment. We've got your decals, which are absolutely gorgeous. All right, we've got a, what else you can get? And I said before, their series, as you can see, is very extensive. So we've got the Sky Raiders, which we've seen and done. Uh, and again, we've got down in here, the 129s, really nice. There's the 109 on there, plus the fact all of their other ones, as you can see. And they do some beautiful Phantoms, which I've built as well. And we've got the 222, the 152, lots of other ones, as you can imagine, right the way through. So some very, very, nice stuff in here all right so the book really do like the way they do this is like a proper old world war ii manual with a sort of aged look to it all and again fully detailed right the way through so as you can imagine it's obviously in chinese and it's sorry it's in japanese and it's into english as well and again some details if you've never built Japanese kits like Bandai and that can look a little bit overwhelming this but actually it's just a breakdown of how the build is going to progress and what you're going to look for and again important things to look out for so it is well worth having a quick skim through all of this and then obviously just getting yourself you know sort of really about the details uh, which bits are going to be important obviously some call out bits down in here as well and again then it breaks it down as you can see basically into the actual uh, manual itself what parts are where so again it does look a little bit overwhelming but it's not right the way through so you've got color call outs down in here as well so you've got rlm colors which is straightforward and then the rest of them are in everybody else's as you might imagine right the way through so starting with this one off we're starting with the motor or probably the engine all right so again right the way through this is what we're talking about detail in here as you might notice up here we'll look at the moment you actually get the pistons inside the pots 
that's the level of detail you're at with this all right and again these are really really good and it's really nice that um, the uh, Japanese ones are done like this anything you see that looks like a view sign as we commonly know them in the UK from all maps it means that you need to pay attention to this specific area because there may be a little bit of something that needs to be removed or some little areas that can interfere so these are literally going to be little uh, tabs and that which need to be sort of removed and various things but they do obviously provide you with the information exactly where they are and where you need to look out for again really very very nicely done and again it's showing up all the cutoff areas down in here so again it might look a little bit complex because all it's talking about really is just sandwiching two bits together but actually it's pointing out all the little bits that can trip you up all right then we're off all right so literally going right the way through so you've got the pots you've got the pot heads going down in there and then all the different areas down into the engine which is going to build you up to a beautiful looking engine right the way through and again what's really nice with these instructions you do get which are obviously kit uh, build up ones showing you exactly what the colors are when it's done and painted instead of just having the color call outs in here it shows you one that's been painted as well with the details so again it makes it very very nice and straightforward all right and then as you might imagine there's a lot to this so the engine itself as you can see page after page so we're what 14 15 pages of literally just the engine all right but again once it's done it's going to look beautiful into the interior then so obviously we're working on the instrument panel the cockpit floor things like that and again really good strong de um, sort of um, instructions with all the color coal lights and again it's in full color which is really nice and obviously the placement of all the bits and pieces again different options different instrument panels it's nice and clear all right and that's what i love about these kits is that yes they're very daunting they're very complex but actually the instructions are a little bit like lego as long as you follow it closely you'll have no problems with these at all all right so as you might imagine there's a ton of detail down in here right the way to the fuel cells underneath the cockpit floor you know all the way through on this which is great if you didn't know where they were you now do all right we've got the oxygen bottles and things like that all being stowed down into the lower areas as well and then again depending if you're going to be showing this or not so again you could do this as a, an open panel one or closed up you've got various options right the way through again attention to detail goes as far as all the formers and all the entire unit for the tail wheel no longer is it just a hole when you poke it in oh no you have to do the entire section for the tail wheel and the rudder assembly so as you can see some really nice details right the way through with these ones then you're popping the tail onto it ailerons uh and sorry the um uh, tail planes being fitted down onto this one and then obviously right the way over to the wings all right so again lots of detail in the wings just making sure anything that's red you get rid of it first so again it's pointing out little details down in here that are zoomed in just to say about nicking those out to make sure all right and then again all the other work for the wing formers obviously all around the doors we've got the guns being told into the wing roots and then right the way through and again there is options so just keep an eye out for your options as you're going in with flaps up and down things like that all the way through but as you can see it's a really really full-on build right the way through and again working forward to the engine now with that sort of assembly done and it is full-on again really very very nice all the way through all right so again take your time with it and you'll be absolutely fine cockpit going together so we say canopy open or closed various bits and pieces obviously the gun doors open and closed all the way through options abound on this particular one and again tiny little details obviously using the green which always looks blue and then obviously with the red for the navigation lights things like that aerial colors in these the ones again the boarding little ladder on the back deployed or obviously extended sorry extended or retracted and then obviously we've got deck replacements and things like that going down in here as well all right so again really really nice this is where all your money's going is on the detail and this is what this kit has got tons of is literally all the details so again very very nice indeed so we do have those couple of correction seats uh, down in here as well so you can just pay attention to those ones freeze the screen now and you can see what they are and again it's just a little bit more extra info showing about the alignment it looks like of some of the details down in here as well all right so again very nice indeed so decals again zukamori decals traditionally are gorgeous and again these don't uh, disappoint at all really very very nice all the way through obviously the swap stick is broken up for obvious reasons and then obviously down in there as well but their decals are normally really very nice and if it's anything like when i've worked on their more modern stuff the phantoms and that 
Normally these run in some sort of sequence of order as well. So it's not like you've just got them all over the place and you have to sort of cut them all up and, you know, dig around the sheets. Normally starts from one side to the other right the way through. So it should be quite straightforward on that. We've also got, let's say, a mask set. So it is, it is tape. It is like a kabooey type tape, although it's green, but you can see it's proper die cut all the way through. At least it's not like a, a plastic one, which obviously they can shrink over time and cause fit issues and stuff like that. This one, no problem at all with it. So very nice as well that you've got a little mask set. As we've got the close up camera, we'll pop this little guy out. So this is Seafried Schnell, the pilot. And then this is uh, just one. I think it's for the first run of these, then afterwards it won't come with it. But there we go. That's the little instructions. And you've got the color call outs for painting them up as well. Again, not my thing because I'm rubbish at painting, but uh, definitely it's a nice little bonus figure. And if we get him out, again, he is resin and very, very nice indeed. So nice job with those ones. Nicely cast as well. Uh, nice little bit of packaging on there. So again, we'll just put that back in the little box so we keep them all safe. Okay, so then again, comes in his nice little box. Very nice indeed. So into the parts. Right, for a change, we will start with clear parts. All right, so down in the clear parts, these are lovely, really crisp, sharp, very nice indeed. Again, we've got three different types of panels down in here, the actual instrument panels. So again, but they're very nice indeed, all the way through. And again, we've got the armor glass. And then obviously with the front windscreen as well, gun sights, couple of options with gun sights and the smallest tiny little lights you've got down in here as well. But they are absolutely crystal clear, beautifully done. Very nice indeed. Okay, so uh, what we do, we just do these little bits because we've got them here. So we've got a little bit of uh, something or other. This is a Sprue J, which I can't think what it is. It looks like it goes around the engine, maybe something else like that, some type of mounts. Again, I won't bother getting these out because they are just down in here. Definitely engine mounts down in here. So actually, these are the gun mounts. These are the guns. So it is the gun mounts. So very, very nice with those. And obviously the ammunition drums. I'm sure this is for the um, two guns in front of the cockpit and the ammunition drums for down the side. Right. OK, so let's jump in. OK, so start off with. Okay, so straight off the bat, the plastic is that little bit grainy. It's not like a polished finish or anything else like that. Uh, but this is sprue A, obviously fuselage halves things. And again, you get an idea of how this all breaks down because obviously the fuselage halves are very small considering for a 30 second. But we've got tops, we've got engine covers, things like that. Cowlings stuff, you know, usual bits and pieces on here like that. And again, really, really nice. And when you get into the details, you can see the ejector pins are incredibly fine. They're here because you can see them, but they are very, very fine. So again, a couple of swipes with the sanding stick will take care of all of those. No problem at all. But again, beautifully molded. The inside detail, to be honest, is better sometimes than the outside. And you can see down in here, we've actually got the linings uh, onto these components and the various parts down in here as well, which looks really very, very nice indeed. I remember doing the old Ravel one and throwing a bucket load of aftermarket and scratch building and actually lining it with plastic hard drilled out to give this effect uh, on all of my parts as well. But very, very nice. On the surface detail, again, it's not covered in rivets in real life, so it is pretty much as it is. So that's very nice indeed, and it's nice and smooth. But there is a small amount of texture to it, but I think that's absolutely fine. And again, when you get down to the details, like down the back here for where the lights are and stuff, really very, very nice indeed. So again, beautifully done. All right, so um, go in the wings. So down in here on screw B, we've got the actual wings. And as you see, you can see all the wing formers down in here. And obviously you're gonna be knocking out these center ones to clean it all up afterwards, but beautifully done. Very, very clean molds on these ones. 
all the way through. So if we move right in nice and close, you can see all that detail right the way through. There's all those wing formers and spars. Very nice indeed. And on the other side, right the way through, we've got the main brace. Which your wing spar going right the way through down in here. And again, beautifully done and riveted and detailed all the way through. And again, when you get down to onto the inside, so we've got the inside area for the flaps. And you might notice ejector pins around, but not in these areas. There's one back there, but you're not going to see that. But we don't have any in the wheel wells or what would be the gun areas, things like that. Very, very nice indeed. So looking absolutely superb, to be honest. Very nice. Uh, where do we go? Where do we go? Let's, where do we go? I'm trying to keep this somewhat in semblance of order. Uh, so into C. So on C, down in here, you've got obviously the fuel tanks for the main ones, the floor with obviously the big areas, things like that, the underplate for it, and obviously we down here we've got the tails. So uh, very nice, we've got the rudder. This is that huge assembly for the actual tail wheel. So you start up in here, you can see really nice, nice fabric covered down in here for the tail planes. This is that floor for the cockpit, which looks really nice. And it's raised rivets all on this. So it's really sharp, nicely detailed. Those fuel tanks again, looking very nice as well. Bottom half of the fuel tanks. And generally, overall, very, very nice indeed right the way through to the undersides which you're not going to see any of these ones we have got ejector pins though down in here so that's one thing to look out for so very nice indeed okay very nice so next up we've got sprue d so obviously lots of detail down in here uh, we've got the oxygen bottles, all the various areas down in here, some of the formers, we've got a couple of tailwheel options. So again, very, very nice, beautifully detailed. And again, if you've never built one of their kits, it's one of those ones where it's very easy to overlook that actually these are fantastic, highly detailed kits. You know, some people sort of go through and say about it. Don't know if that's a mismold, but if that's the area, I'm pretty sure that should be a ring. And there's a little mismold in there, not a problem, just replace it with a little bit of wire, but don't know. Have to check that. But uh, yeah, looks good all the way through. Very, very nicely detailed. And again, what's lovely with these kits is the little attention detail, the amount of detail that is down in there for the actual door cover is absolutely astonishing. Very nice. Okay, so on to sprue F, one of the biggest sprues of the kit. So sprue F gives us, obviously we've got some of the drop tanks down in here, we've got the gear, uh, that huge big spinner at the front, the tails, the various things down in here. So again, really very, very nicely detailed. I'm not even going to mention about flash or uh you know burring because again there's just no real burring on these kits at all it's the tiniest little bit but nothing compared to what you find on other kits so again looking down in here those fuel tanks detail as i say for the wheel wells we've got the gear main gear doesn't look too bad it's quite chunky i'm just looking at how this gear is actually going to attach i don't know actually that looks a bit thin bare bones but I'm hopeful that these actually do lock in really, really well. But generally, it just looks a little bit thin and skinny down on the business end with the gear. So uh, always terrifies me on uh, 190s because the gear just looks so, so delicate. Again, beautiful attention to detail down in here in these rings around the engines and the various areas. These tails with the sort of cutaways with all the access ports open. We saw the one here. The amount of detail was on the inside for this door alone was actually incredible. All right, so some really nice. So it is going to show off all of that internals. You will still see it if you choose to have all of these open. And again, down in here with the actual spinner looks really, really nice. And you can see down onto these points, very, very highly, highly detailed right the way through to the back of the instrument panel here on the other side. Look, 
again really is attention to detail it's not without a couple of little faults like for instance down in here we've got the bay doors there's tiny ejector pins in those which is a little bit of a pain but again would it be nice not to have them but it's not a biggie to get rid of them same goes as well down in here actually on the gear doors the wheels are going to cover it but you've just got them just down in there you might be able to pick them out and again with these engine covers we've just got some very fine ones in there but again it's the price to pay to the level of detail you need to get it out so uh, that's what those are all about so again very very nice all the way through okay so over to some of the engine so engine time as you can see this is sprue e tons of engine detail we said before the actual veining on the pots is really very very nice right the way through and again back of the engine down in here these details you're probably never going to see once it's together but looking absolutely fine the exhaust is slightly hollowed as well so that's really nice touch with it but generally again it's just that next level of detail right the way through and again the top of the pot stand in here the way that that's done with your clever painting a little bit of weathering it's all going to work and look fantastic and again some very nice attention to details right the way through too and i know it's my old joke but there we go there's your pistons actually inside the pots and you can see it's off center for the oscillation so when it is firing so yes you do actually get the pistons in there as well so again attention to detail right the way through the kit is absolutely phenomenal and again there's those exhausts if you can just about work that out you got a little bit of hollowing in there which looks nice it is a really very very nice kit okay so over here on sprue g little one so again more geared doors more covers things like that right the way through some of the roots different undercarriage legs might need them for replacements when you break the originals but hey again strange way they've done the wheels with the hubs like this i get it but um, there's no weight on wheels so i thought i know there probably may be a higher air pressure but i uh, can't see any weight on wheels which is one thing i would have thought you would have seen with these but again beautiful details right the way through and both of those all the way through very nice and then again inside there's a couple of little ejector pins which is just a little bit annoying but again they're so fine in that it's not a problem until you put a weathering wash in it you put an oil wash on it it's going to show it out like a barn door but again a little bit of a swipe i think with the sanding stick will get rid of those just unfortunately it's got it of a kit of this quality when you look at the details down in here on the inside of this part and how beautiful that is done then you get ejector pins in here just i don't know limitations of engineering maybe but uh, would be nice to see them without them okay so last up we've got uh what have we got h two left all right so down here on sprue h obviously we've got the ailerons and i assume uh two types down in here as well so again looking very nice it's got that nice sort of fabric cover to them coming through just see the details of it which is very nice and then down in here some of the parts hubs and again we've got a couple of the doors very nice beautifully done and last up we've got depending obviously if you're doing gear up or down means you get different wings which is one way of doing it so as you can see very nice indeed so obviously with these now open this is the main front gear area would be going in here so it's a different way of doing it and again we've got various doors with different ones on there things like that different mgs i assume these are the ones which go into the actual wing roots so yeah very very nice detail all the way through very nice very very nice indeed there you have it probably if not definitely the most detailed 190 a4 in 30 second you're ever going to build 
and again it's just a shame there's a couple of ejector pins in there and you just got that oozing of quality and detail all the way through and i'm sure it is purely a limitation in the actual molding you know you need to get it out of the mold it's got to come out clean so you need some ejector pins to push it out at the end of the day and i'm sure that's what they are luckily though they're incredibly shallow we're not talking big sort of rebel ones down here or anything else like that which you end up having to put a bucket full of filler in um, because there's no way you can sand them out these are very shallow so i'm assuming just a quick little pop over it with a skinny stick something like that and you can get those gone uh, and moving on straight away apart from that though as i said before you take your choices if you want to have a nice basic kit honestly the Ravel one in 30 second the newish one that's not too bad at all if you want to spend 30 40 quid on it if you want to spend 100 quid on it and throw everything at it then you can do something like this and you have literally got the pistons in the pots as i call it on this one every single detail right the way through so if you want that all everything done on your model this is definitely the one for you and with some clever little works and things you can either have it looking like it's in maintenance and open a lot of this one up or as we've seen a lot of people do they de-skin it so you can show off and just add a little bit more detail a little bit more wiring into it a little bit more plumbing and actually take the, some of the skins off to reveal all of that gorgeous detail work that is inside that most of us will never see but again if it's just for you and you want to go to town with it that's definitely the kit for you if you want to go a little bit more basic and you think there's no point with it then there is other options and that's what's nice about the hobby you can go basic you can go mediocre you can do it yourself or you can just have something straight out of the box with everything in it if you want that type of thing this kit is definitely for you so there we go that's the gorgeous uh zukamori uh 132nd fw190 a4